Hello to my Virgos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Virgos. Let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards. I've already prayed over your cards. This is your Freedom Friday message. Even though you may be watching it on the last day of February, the video is for March 1st through April 1st, okay? So uh, you have a... I think you all have a video. You have your six-month prediction video up on Patreon, I think um, if you don't have your Pluto retrograde video up already, it will go up. I think it did go up already because I filmed so many videos. So I think it went up already. So if you have a chance, haven't had a chance to check it out, go check it out. You can get way ahead of this um, breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. Just far ahead of it. Like so, it doesn't. Pluto doesn't officially go retrograde until May second, and so we're about to enter into March, right? So you you can get in front of it. Let's get into it, Virgos. I'm talking to you wherever Virgo is in your birth chart. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description. <laughs> Woo! In the description. Oh my God, something really funny came across my mind. But anyway, yes, in the description. Um, for those of you all who got your journals, thank you. Your journals and your calendars, your digital journals and your calendars, thank you. Uh, for those of you all who are interested, the link is below in the description. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. As well as information about my second channel, the Knowledge Channel um, on YouTube is also below in the description as well. Again, talking to you if you have Virgo anywhere in your birth chart. So wherever Virgo is placed in your birth chart, I'm talking to you. The leading card is full, right? The full card, somebody feels changed, liberated, and free. Possibly you moved on from a um, possibly fire energy, right? So fire uh, could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Some reason I said that because of the color yellow, right? And um, and this this amethyst right here is really about healing. Your you know your crown chakra. Like so, I can do this. I can move on from. I can move on from uh, certain types of energies. I can move on from uh, selfish energies, attention-seeking energies, outbursts of anger energies, lack of patient energies, impulsive, you know, that cause you to have impulsive behavior, energies that are arrogant, inflexible, lazy, dogmatic, and prideful, energies that are domineering, jealous, competitive, people who are impatient, careless energies, you know, they cause that in you, Right. So you see all of this water here, sources saying they reflect because that's who they are. They project that onto you and that's what you reflect. You reflect that same type of energy. So somebody's definitely got their amethyst in hand and saying, you know what? I'm closing out cycles. I'm leaving circus behavior behind and somebody feels like they hit the jackpot. There it is. Nine of cups. Here we have the six of pentacles here. We also have um, the temperance card. You have a guardian angel definitely watching over you, helping you to learn how to balance things out, get away from those energies that cause you to be really upset um, and then frustrated, and it comes out on other energies, right? So we have eight of wands. So this is really speeding some things up for you. Here we also have the three of cups, right? So let's talk about it. Three of cups, eight and three of cups. Something is now behind you completely, and so something is completely closed out. You Like I said, you had a guardian angel watching over you. They are... Um, more money is coming across your path, Virgo. And I know money is not everything. It's a form of energy, right? But um, the emotional manipulation from energies is behind you. Now, now that you've decided I needed to move on from two types of energies, um, I can now focus. And I said two types of energies. They were able to manipulate your time, like manipulate your time, manipulate your um your solar plexus chakra, right? You kept pouring into certain types of energies until you were just drained emotionally. So something is now behind you. You've closed out the cycles. Goody, goody, goody for you. And I said two types of energies, which could be connected to a thousand things, right? But it's two types of energies, right? So those energies are... Um, like I said, we're able to manipulate your emotions at some point. Queen of Wands, King of Swords, Nine of Cups. Here we have the um, Six of Wands. Here we also have the Nine of Wands and then also the Ace of Wands. A lot of fire energy here. Queen of Wands, I definitely see you feeling a lot happier. You definitely feel liberated, free, and like a changed person just getting away from um, certain types of energies, right? We also have the King of Swords and you gain more knowledge, you know, as you sit on your throne of just like what you 
don't want to open your universe up to like you don't want to open up your mind your universe mind slash universe to um those types of energies you know because they it's just a negative reflection on you you know since we're talking about this water here it's just a negative reflection on you so somebody is definitely starting to see things at the highest frequency uh, which is a good thing. Here we have the nine of cups here. So I'm seeing your wishes being fulfilled as someone else's wishes about you are being fulfilled as well. So you being the, you know, perfect employee that they were looking for, you know, so in terms of a raise or a new company that you could be going to, that could be one of your wishes being fulfilled. It could also be a new love because that's something seeing money coming across your path. So it could be like, okay, you are just like the ideal employee. You know, but you had to first sacrifice to other things that had a, a negative reflection on you, if that makes any sense. So the two types of energies could have been in your home life or it could have been in your professional life, right? Whatever was manipulating your time slash money source that you may have been looking for approvals from them. So this is like once you decide to take your power back and leave a circus situation, um, or even the emotion of feeling like you were foolish about situations, like get delivered from just that mindset. I was a fool. Other people manipulated me and I missed out on other opportunities. Once you get away from that, so it's just like that's when your money starts coming through. Because um, all of this is energy. Here we have nine of wands. So the energies are still trying to call you back into a wilderness situation, but Source is trying to manipulate your emotions again so you can keep pouring water on their fire, like keep making them laugh, keep making them, you know, keep engaging in possibly sexual activity with them, keep pouring into, you know, their their dreams, their hopes. They want you to keep pouring into them. They want to keep they want you to keep pouring into what pleases them. And source is saying you got to learn how to pour into you. So here we have Ace of Wands. Your third eye is definitely wide open now, right? As you're moving towards being booked and busy and not burdened at all by them. And so here we have the Six of Wands. So you're definitely back in the saddle again. Victorious, back in the saddle. And it could be fire energy because we got so much fire here in the cars. And source is saying get away from those types of energies. A lot of people don't even realize being in people's auric field would even, you don't even have to have sex with them. You don't have to hug them. None of those things, just being in there, in that auric field, you're absorbing that energy. So just being around, like almost guilty by association, if that makes any sense. So sources like get away from those types of energies um, altogether because you will feel like a clown being connected to them and like, okay, I, they didn't tell me everything that was going on. Like, I just feel like, you know, like, um, I saw something on, um, on that popped up in my, on my YouTube feed one time about this woman who went with a friend and she thought the friend was just going to go to somebody else's house, come to find out, you know, go to go visit somebody they had no idea that the person had actually committed a crime. And so that person had to pay for a crime. They didn't even know was being committed. Right. So sources saying you don't want to be connected to those types of energies. And that's like on the extreme side, but being connected to those types of energy, you know, those energies that can't control their temper, they're always on fight and fight mode. They're always in argument mode. That can affect you in the workplace. It can affect you in your personal and your professional life. And somebody says, I only want to be on that because they always, it's always a cry wolf situation. And so you don't never know, you, you never know what's real and what's fake. It's always, you got to be on 10 when you, you can't even process your emotions, right? So you're a divine feminine sign as it is. And so source is saying, now you're in hermit mode, learning how to go through your molting process, you know, of just letting sources letting you know hey look you don't need to be around that type of energy blow torching you in your back making your hair smell like burnt hair <laughs> you don't need to be around those types of energy sources like you got fire within yourself do some do some uh you know increase your fire your power and some of the things you can do is core strengthening yoga or core strengthening exercises you can do puzzles sunbathing Put there, put that into a burning bowl and go outside and get some sun. Go take a drive. Or if you live in a sunnier climate, go for a walk, you know, recharge, reset, get some fresh air, do some grounding, you know, get near some water. Just take care of all of it at the same time. So, yeah. So, anyway, here we have three of pentacles. Music may be something that causes people to get recentered again. So, again, I see you moving towards financial independence, which is great, great, great. And um, yeah, just getting away from those types of energies. Take the blindfolds off so you can see the blessings and burdens because that's how people miss 
you know, blessing standing right in front of them. It's like, okay, it could be an energy that you prayed for, like for a job. You don't see the job because you thinking about hot headed energy, you know, very selfish energy. They have lack of patience and they always keeping you in just go mode. You don't even have time to even process healthy divine feminine um, uh, messages that sources downloading into your spirit. Um, so yeah, so that's how you miss the blessings and burdens right in front of you, you know, being connected to those types of energies. But I definitely feel like somebody says, you know what, I'm closing out, I'm closing out cycles in love and I'm moving on, moving on from something. So page of wands, right? Somebody's gonna feel like a teenager again, just like what knight of wands. All you have to do is stay away from those types of energies, right? Cause on one hand they feel very, um, um, they feel very motivational. They feel very inspiring. They come across as very like strong leaders, those kind of things. And they, that is one part of them, right? That is a part of them. They're, they're enthusiastic. They're optimistic. They're generous. They're, you know, have a great sense of humor. And that is a part of who they are, but they also have a temper, right? So sources say, and when that temper comes out on you, it's like, oh shoot, what the heck? <laughs> so here we have uh, the magician card. So I definitely feel like this is in your receiving mode. This is your card and this is your ruling planet, Mercury, um, that in your receiving mode, somebody is like, yeah, I got to see things from a higher frequency. I, I got to look at some things from a, just a higher frequency. What would trigger, what would, what would make me pull out my blowtorch? Like what would make me get into an argument with them? And how would that be blowtorching each other? I mean, nobody can hear anything because there's a wildfire going on. So yeah, so I definitely see somebody moving on from some things. And I see somebody getting married in business and or in love. And Source is actually rewarding you for moving on from some things. Source is rewarding you. So that's the reward you really want. That's the approval you really want from Source. You're not looking for a human's approval as you're moving towards financial independence. I feel like somebody, if your desire is to meet someone and to be married, I see, I feel like somebody's going to meet someone, um, maybe listening to music. That could some, be something that you share, you know, in common. Maybe you have like the same musical taste. Or you could meet them at a concert, or um, at a at a gallery, at a um, at an art gallery where maybe there's music playing in the background, or maybe you all share talent of knowing how to play music, those kind of things. So, congratulations to you in advance. Here's the hermit card, right? So you and someone could be in hermit mode. <laughs> Could you imagine, right? Y'all having telepathic conversations, right? So you and somebody could be in hermit mode right now, right? So they could have Virgo somewhere in their birth chart. You could obviously, if you're watching a channel, could have Bur Virgo in your chart. Um, you all could have Sagittarius in your chart. You could have Aquarius somewhere in your chart or be influenced by that um, that zodiac sign. It can also have Cancer, you know, in the birth chart. And it can also have Gemini somewhere in the birth chart too, because Gemini is also ruled by Mercury. So check your birth chart, find out what's in your birth chart. But somebody is tired of being around energies that just burn people, just burn you out. So here's a death card, right? So you definitely moved on from something that had that kept you in fired up mode. It was just a very unhealthy and very wounding situation. So what's interesting about this particular card here, Virgo, is that the person is, um, they are coming to help people who are on, on like, um, like this person's crown has fallen off. So they kind of like maybe felt like in life that they, things just didn't work out for them in life. Um, you know, could be a widow or motherless child or like a person who is no respect of person. That's kind of like the ancestral line you come from, like people who help people that's like really, really down on their luck. Right. And, um, or just in life. And, uh, and I, I, I feel like that's why somebody may have you know, kind of hang in there with people. It's just like, Oh, I just want to come save somebody. You may come in it's like, I can inspire them. I can motivate them. They just kind of on the down, you know, down on, you know, at their, their, what's the term, like their last leg or something like that, whatever the term is, but they just kind of at that low, low, low point in life. And so, um, but, but when you over give to those types of energies that you have to keep lighting their flame, it's like the trick birthday candles. You light the flame. I mean, you blow the candles out. It comes back, you know, comes back for more like, the, you know, it's like source is saying to you every time you, um, and it causes you to kind of sort of shut down because somehow that energy blow torches you and you just shut down like, okay, I'm so drained and so worn out. You're earth sign. So could you imagine like taking a blow torch to, 
your garden of seeds that you planted there is there is little to there's no water because you're so busy you know giving to you know trying to help other people put sunlight be this sunny disposition in other people's life and they're just draining you right so where does where do you get a chance to water your own garden like you know so sources say you're you're moving forward um I see marriage and business and or in love coming across your path. Marriage and business could be like a new job. It could be, like I said, increasing your job and stuff that somebody could be taking on a new something where maybe you're a musician in that way. But I see you operating in your light. I see you operating in your sunlight is what I'm seeing for you. So somebody definitely feels a lot better. We're going to talk about the questions for the moon and Sagittarius in just a second. So... Goody, goody, goody for you. I see no exuberant love coming across the mice path, and I do see somebody celebrating something. So this is the four of wands. So source is saying take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith forward, right? There's a sun card. Definitely feel like you're feeling a lot sunnier. It could be a Leo also involved. Because there's a lot of fire here. It could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That somebody is saying, I'm I'm just this is I'm just burned out. Like it's just too much. Or they could have it somewhere in their birth chart. They could have it somewhere in their birth chart. Or you could have it somewhere in yours. But so to say, and the only way you're going to know is to take your blindfolds off, right? So here we have eight of swords and two of swords. And this is what I was talking about right here. Like these, those types of energies dry up your creativity. They dry up your fertility. They dry up your joy. They dry up your pleasure. They um, dry up your healthy range of emotions. Like, could you imagine always being in blowtorch mode? Like always being mad, wildfire people misunderstanding who you are. So leaving those types of energies behind, so it's just saying you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot for real. So, um, and whoever you're coming towards, I don't, I don't see necessarily a trauma bond there. I see more of less like, yeah, you know, just kind of like a, like a, like a passing conversation of just like the characteristics, not necessarily the Zodiac sign, if that makes any sense. Like, okay, yeah, I left behind. I, yeah, I, I don't do well with those types of energies. That always keep you in fight mode. Always have to be in like um, friction mode. They always have because they're really in a battle with themselves, and it comes out on other people. So I definitely see somebody moving on from those types of energies all together, all together. All right, let me see what else we got going on here, so we can go ahead and get ready to close this out. But yeah, here are the questions for the Moon and Sagittarius. A moon in Sagittarius, even though the moon may be in Scorpio when you watch this video, but a moon in Sagittarius really brings hope. It brings new ideas, big dreams. So somebody is definitely dreaming of financial independence. Somebody is definitely dreaming of marriage and business and or in love. Um, but I, I feel like somebody is now going to start watching just that overgiving you know, in a space where you just want to just kind of help calm or soothe people's ego. You know, just doing the most, doing above and beyond. You know what I'm saying? Like going above and beyond to keep people's fire calm down. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, they have it in them themselves to balance out that fire, right? They have it in them. If they, if somebody can say, I can see through people's BS, their belief systems. I know y'all was thinking the other word. They can also see through inspiring themselves, first and foremost, motivating themselves, right? If they can pray on other people's perceived weakness, they can certainly pray for people, P-R-A-Y. So it's how they're using their fire. And so Source is saying, once you recognize that type of energy, people who like to see people, they think it's perceived weaknesses because they're trying to bring something out in them. So this is like, those are the energies you need to get away from. You are in human form. Death card came out twice. It's two types of energies. You like deuces. I'm out. You got loved ones on the other side that's also helping you as well, you know, to move on from those energies. So, yeah, you got loved ones on the other side that's helping you to move on from those types of energies. Yeah, they want everybody to always be on a thousand. And um, so anyway, I definitely see you moving on from those 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 types of energies. The tower card. Mm -mm. Yeah, so we got Sagittarius, Aries is in the tower card. We also have the strength card, which is Leo. So we got a lot of fire out here in the, in the cards. And so these cards right here are connected to Scorpio and also Scorpio rules. Um, Scorpio rules 
Um, I'm sorry, excuse me, Mars is one of Scorpio's ruling planets. The other one is Pluto. So that's another reason why I put the video up for Pluto too, so you can get ahead of it. Being around those types of energies always feels like a setup, for real. Like it always feels like we were going down Warm Street. When did the wildfire start? When did the, what was said, what was done before? It's just like, Either the flame is put out altogether or it's just an explosion. Like when does that? So somebody is definitely having an awakening to stay away from those types of energies and even being connected to people who are like that because it always feels like a setup. We know uh, this is Scorpio's car, but we know Scorpio's cousins are like mites and, and spiders. And it always feels like you're caught up in a web of something, like always in fight mode. So it's like, mm mm. You have the power to move on from those energies. So I'm seeing partnership in love and or in business coming across your path, your path here. Like I said before, you and your person could be in hermit mode. Y'all may need to come out of hermit mode to meet <laughs> instead of having telepathic conversations, right? Y'all in them mm, uh, mm, to each other, right? So anyway, the so source is saying to you, you know, I, I see you getting married, you know, to somebody and, um, and here's, here's the card right here. So... You and your person could be in hermit mode, right? And so Source is saying to you, but how y'all going to find each other? You know, I mean, you can you can write it out and tell Source exactly what you want in a person, place, a thing, but some kind of partnership in business and or in love. I mean, that's like going online and looking for a new job, but never going to the interview, you know, or not even, not even, not even just looking at it, like not even applying for it. So some kind of action needs to be put behind something, right? Some kind of action needs to be put behind some things because otherwise you'll drive yourself crazy being connected to energies that you always just feel like it's a setup. They warm up to you and then they strike. <laughs> like, what? what it was I. What in the world? So, yeah, so yeah. Sources saying, just get on, move on from those energies. So, I definitely see you on your throne carefully vetting your thoughts. And I'm um, ready to move forward. Here we have the two of wands. So maybe somebody needs to go to the beach. Like I said before, you got all the elements out there. You got the water, the depth of that salt water. You got the earthing grounding here. You have the air, obviously. You're breathing air, right? Um, and the sun. Obviously, you see sunny in the picture, right? So I definitely meet, see here we have the page of wands. So sources say you're going to feel like a you going to feel like a teenager again. Somebody else going to feel like a teenager again. It's just a, it's good all the way around, you know? Like I said, imagine walking into a job that you prayed for and you actually took the time to say, okay, I'm, I'm not going to be afraid to go interview. I'm not going to be afraid to go apply for this. And you sitting in the job that you prayed for, like, oh my God, I prayed that I had a healthy relationship with leadership. I felt like I had a healthy relationship with my, my colleagues. Like this is exactly what I prayed for, right? Or even in a romantic situation, this is what I prayed for, right? So I definitely see... You know, some energies that you've been connected to, they have helped to increase your prayer life all right, but it was it just always felt like a trap or setup. And so now you can use those prayers for you because praying overdoing like these energies right here that I'm seeing, they increase your prayer life. Yeah, so do 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 so yeah. So uh we had to make a little bit more room, but like I said before, somebody has put a lot of somebody has motivated a lot of a lot of these types of energies that turn around and and uh, um, exhausted you. I'll just put it that way. Turn around and exhausted you. Now you're in the saddle again. Um, someone else that's coming your way is also in the saddle again. And like I was saying, imagine um, going to a job that you prayed for. You actually put the action behind it. You prayed for over yourself, right? Instead of praying for these energies that end up preying on you. You prayed for something and those things that those, those you're sitting on the job that you prayed for. You prayed for a particular type of manager, colleagues, you know, uh, uh, you know to maybe telework. Like your prayers have been answered both in your personal and your professional life. That's what I'm seeing you moving towards, but you had to sacrifice something else. And what you had to sacrifice are energies that are arrogant, inflexible, lazy, dogmatic, and prideful, jealous. They see everybody as competition. They don't even see you versus you. They just, them versus everybody, right? And I just gotta, I gotta take the enemy out <laughs> instead of the enemy within, right? So they are impatient, they're careless, they're boastful, they're brutal, they are they impulsive behavior, lack of patience, 
outburst of anger, selfish, attention seeking, those types of energy. So once you sacrifice those types of energies and you start praying for yourself, that's when you start saying your when you first somebody had to first ask for an exodus strategy, like God, get me out of this mess because I don't even know what this is. <laughs> but that's when somebody start getting your prayers answered when in the end, because just being around those types of energy, could you imagine bringing a new, you know, going to work stressed out with those energy, whether you telework or not, just being around those types of energies um, or even being in a new love situation, you know, where you frustrated, somebody have to keep putting your fire out because you upset because you have to interact with those types of energy. So two situations in particular are over and some people are going to be shocked. Two types of situations that were very unhealthy and wounding for you. And people are shocked. They like, what the, I never thought Virgo, not Virgo, the go along and get along. That's what they thought. They thought that about you, but you done. You like, mm -mm. nope. You just have a your negative reflection on me. It, it, being around you calls me to, you know, say talk differently i see through everybody's bs instead of saying believe bs obviously be belief system but of course people use it a different way um instead of saying i can see through people's potential i can help people to find their purpose but being around those types of energy you just always in negative minded mode right so yeah so sources say go ahead and sacrifice them so you can get back to being the virgin that you are right virgin energy right here we have um, that the symbol virgin. Here we have divine source. So help me to know that all of my deepest needs will be met. Like I said, you've been praying for yourself instead of being pray for the devil, right? So let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. Yeah. So yeah, being around those types of energies are just draining. So source is definitely cooking up something for you and your partner in business and or in love. So congratulations. So you're definitely letting go of something. I release what I can't control. I let go of doubt. I will not allow fear to stop me. I say goodbye to all that blocks my growth. Not some, all. I am weightless, free from burdens. I am shifting my perspective. I am free from regret. Failure is a helpful feedback. And again, this is what we're talking about. Somebody could have been so emotionally drained dealing with, like I said, pouring, you know, putting other people's fires out that you couldn't see blessings or burdens in your face. Just shut down. So now somebody is on their throne. Like I said before, I see the energy coming across your path as being very smart, very wise, you know, also vetting their thoughts as well. And um, just kind of sort of just processing you know, of just walking through life with blindfolds on because of so much hurt and betrayal and trying to process loved ones passing and all of that while, you know, you got a little fire starter over here, just getting some stuff started, <laughs> fire starters, right? That you, two types of energies that you had to move on from. It's just, it's just draining, just completely draining, maiden there it is demand what is yours and take back what was taken reclaim reclaim until you've gathered all of you at the root chakra so yep let me see and let's go ahead and close this out because you're going somebody going through some major let's say you see how so many um, major arcanas up here somebody's going through some major life changes major 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 life changes um do 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 let's see what else we got going on here so we can go ahead and close this out but yeah the majority of cards out here are fire cards mm -mm -mm. so you're gonna be tossing some stuff into a fire bowl and just like blocking numbers and just doing all kinds of stuff like i don't even want to be associated with that always bet on you that's it the spy is now turned on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've been watching. Your peace is paramount. They apologize for hurting you. Whoever these two types of energy, they apologize for hurting you. But your ancestors are very proud of you. So step through your portal. That's right. Step through your portal. The portal is the next phase of your life, obviously, right? So yeah, you're now stepping through your portal, but somebody is proud. They are, they are turned on by the fact that you were able to kind of sort of stand on business. That's what they were like. You know what? I'm, I'm cutting out the nonsense. Now, all of a sudden you got their attention, right? So sometimes it's like that. Sometimes you need to just, okay, full stop. Stop doing the California roll. A full stop. Full stop. 
Yep. Now all of a sudden people got your attention. Now they missing you. They want to talk to you. Now, now they see the error of their way. <laughs> Woo. They couldn't see none of that as long as you were giving them chance after chance after chance. But now they see the error. I, I, like I said, I don't see you going backwards at all. I don't see you going backwards at all because that would be a Judas in your own circle. And what planet is that happening on? So here we have uh, shamanic wisdom. That's it. That's it. Somebody may have a shaman in their lives, but you're definitely gaining a lot of wisdom. Just getting away from, you know, um, or you could be a shaman yourself, but just getting away from those types of energies, like deading some situations. And it's, it'll be shocking for some people. They won't be for them. It's just going to hit them like a ton of bricks. Time's up. There it is. I'm beginning an exciting new path of self-discovery. Mm -hmm. Because you don't need them to motivate you. You don't need them to motivate you. Here are your questions for the moon and um, and Sagittarius. Oh, okay. The Hierophant card came out. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, you see. So, the questions for the moon and Sagittarius. First question is, what is your heart yearning to learn and to do? Second question is, where do you want to be in five to ten years? Third question is, what are the main challenges on your path to your envisioned future? Fourth card, I mean, fourth question is, are there ways to solidify your foundation for taking off, perhaps saving money so that you can leave your job or learn a new skill? And then also, um, are you on your path, right? So somebody definitely feels liberated. Um, somebody feels free, a lot more versatile to kind of sort of move around, just kind of sort of and just pray for yourself, get your prayers answered, meditate. Somebody just feels just free of just that whole mindset, you know, of people who prey on other people and want to set traps for people and set people. You don't even want to be around that kind of energy because again, part of somebody's purpose, and we're talking about the tower card, some part of your purpose is to inspire and motivate people. You all are strong leaders. You have amazing self-confidence, but with those types of energies who are always setting traps, your confidence level even goes down, right? You have positive energy. You're brave. You're very creative. You're passionate. You're optimistic. You're enthusiastic. See, there's an option on how you use your fire because that same fire can be used for impulsive behavior. That same fire can be used for lack of patience. That same fire can be used for arrogance and inflexibility. So, and also to add to it, you're a natural leader, you're kind and protective, you're vivacious, you're generous, you're warm hearted, you're cheerful and humorous, but that same fire can be used for being domineering, jealous, and competitive. So it's a choice that these types of energies use. They use that. Like even you're smart, you're caring, you're, you're, you have like kind of a wild streak, but in a fun way, Right. But that same, you're generous, but that same fire can be used for carelessness. It can be used for brutal, you know, being brutal towards people. It can be used for being boastful and impatient. So it's a choice. And remember these, this, God gave us a free will, like to use that, use our energy for good or for, for evil. The tower card is connected to Mars. Mars is the energy planet. It's the planet of action and assertion. So when people are would choose to fight you, then fight because that's a fighting spirit. War, warrior planet Mars is, the tower card, is instead of fighting for mankind to help better mankind, you as a person who may have already been preyed on before because of your heart, of rooting for the underdog and looking out for people and being no respecter of person, you've already been through that before. Source is saying, cut the cord, just cut the cord, just cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, right? Because these type of energies, they don't want to understand what you've gone through. They don't even want to understand what their purpose is. So Source is saying, it's time to close our cycles and move on in love. That's what I have for you, Virgos. I will see you all in the next video. Again, happy Freedom Friday. You may be watching this video on Thursday, the end of February, which is a leap year this year in 2024. But all the videos are timeless, so you'll see it whenever you're supposed to see it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.